Okay, to get a whole uh, bunch of these uh, fractal shapes of stars, we need to uh, bus temporary uh, the buttons to produce one single star. So first task is going to be make uh, that uh, button. So it's going to be just a temporary one. So first of all, we need to make a regular pentagon. So look here regular pentagon and by clicking 2 with 5 we produce regular pentagon okay let me make it bigger it's a little bit easier to handle you can after that to make a, a star shape out of it uh, we need segments Okay, and the intersection points between these segments. Then using these points we can make a star. So let me use a polygon. It doesn't matter where you start it, but just to make sure you click all these necessary points. Okay, finally we got our star and uh, we don't need all this information about line segments or anything, right? All we need is just uh, that uh, star and our star is this poly uh, polygon, right? Poly 2 at this moment and to, to check only that part okay, without having any uh, line segment or whatsoever uh, all we need is just to make a new tool, so go to tools and create new tool. And it's asking what is the output? It's automatically decided because it was selected, so uh, poly2. Then what is going to be the input object to produce that star shape? It's only that two points. That's the only two free objects to produce all of these. So all we need is just the two points to create that star. Okay, let's just make a name of it. At this moment this is uh, just one single star, so let me just put a star and command name is like that. Tool help is how we're gonna produce this star by clicking two points, right? So this is gonna be help, right? Select two points, that's good enough. And we don't worry about that uh, skin at, of the button yet, okay? So that is enough to finish. Then it produces new button. And when you place your cursor on it, it says the title is star, and the hint is select two points. Okay, so right now we don't need all this, so let me just delete everything. And clicking this one, and click two points, it produces a star. That's good. Okay, so in this way we can make this star anytime. Okay, then next to go, and actually that's our a real goal is making stars within this star, right? So uh, to to produce that, we need to find that two points in there, right? So that's why you should be very careful when you make your own file. I delete all these points, but you might need uh, some of them uh, to produce it. Okay? So it's totally up to you how you want to do that. But uh, this is just all I can um, do that. So to to produce your each of that uh, uh, the stars on each side, you might need another points at each of in the, these intersection points, right? So let's pretend. So I'm just explaining how to make it. So don't just follow what I'm doing. You you might need develop your own way, right? So you should have uh, kind of these points for each of these, right? And this, so for your st first star, right? Okay. That's that's the difficult parts here. Okay. Then after that, all we need is clicking this one again and click that. We have star, and of course we also need a point in there, right? So use your temporary a button 
should produce all these points, right? For your outcomes, not just the star only, right? Then you're going to have all these points together when you produce another star. Then just click this one again and click those. Be careful of the order. So how about, uh, no, I don't think this is also, no, the other way. This one and that. Like that. And if you produce all these necessary points okay, as an outcome, then you also have another points over there. So when you click that, it produces another one and another one like that, right? So uh, just do it, just do the same same way for each of these corners. Then you make another tool, which is our goal, right? The outcome of that should be all this collection of these stars, right? So right now my suggestion was you just need at least okay, it's a little bit difficult to select another one here. Okay, like that. At least four stars for each side, right? So four stars, another four stars, that's like that, right? So that that should be the final goal. So for your new tool, new toolbar, at uh, tool button all these stars must be the outcome, right? So, you can see the last uh, figure in the in the contents, right? Course contents. And you also have some, uh, not only this, so forget the outside one, right? That's just for helping you to draw, uh, making it, right? But you have another uh, four corners, right? To have at least four stars on each. And the last, uh, figure in the, uh, the course contents looks like having another star within that the largest one inside one and again 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 you don't need this one okay? so your the goal of this homework is making a new tool button which produce these stars right starting with this biggest one and at least the four stars for each corner so that the, the whole this about 21 and more than 21 stars will be the outcome, right? With only two points, right? When you click two points, it produces the whole these fractal shapes. That's your goal. Okay? And please let me know if you have any question about it here. Okay?